Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I filmed like two videos today and I haven't changed my outfit, so sorry about that. But I thought today that we could, look, as I'm packing, I've got all my ornament things that I have in my room. I was thinking that we could go through them and as I pack them, and maybe we can tell some stories while I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, as well, I do try to keep as much original packaging as possible so I can, when I end up moving things, I can wrap them up. So I'm going to start with this, this vase. I don't know where this is, I don't know where, who makes this, um, I think it's an Italian glassware company. This was from my parents for my birthday, I think it was last year. And they also got me a pear that goes with it, which is really cute. So they got me a glass pear. And there's also, this is like a wreath diffuser. So the three go together. So we've got this, the vase, and these two. Yeah, these are from my parents and it was for my birthday. I love it. I think they're so unique and unusual. And these are definitely going to be out. I think I want to put them all out together in my new place. So I'm just reusing bubble wrap. The next thing I want to show you is this glass bird. Really, how gorgeous it is. Beautiful. I bought this when we were in Berlin from a Christmas market and uh, the people that sold this to us, it was from one of the markets that are there during Christmas time and it's from a small village. I can't remember the name of the village. It's, in, it's a small village in Germany and they, and they blow glass and they have all different types of things, vases, bowls, birds, ducks, little glass people, little glass animals, like tiny ones, and they make all different types. I picked this one. I don't know why, I think I just like the colours of it. I originally wanted to go for something pinky or purple, but this this one just spoke to me. And we actually, <laughs> we went back and forth to this store like three or four times. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Um, I couldn't, I didn't buy it the first time that I saw it, but I just think it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I got this from Berlin. And the next thing is another bird. I'm putting my, I have my glass on because I can't see properly. Here. Oh look, you can see the you can see the glitter in it. This is a present that we got recently. When we went to Luxembourg, uh, we went to a small village called Vianden, and uh, there's a there's there's a uh, like a castle there called Vianden Castle, and there was a little shop on the way up to the castle. And it was, this shop was full of all kinds of dirt stuff, full to the brim with like tacky tourist stuff and I guess other kind of promotional stuff for Vianden. And then she had a cupboard full of little glass birds and delicate ballerinas and things. And, and I just saw this and I don't know why I suddenly had a fascination with glass birds, but I just saw it and I had to get it. So this is a happy memory from Vianden. Next. We have, this needs a dust, a clean. This is from Endura Rose here. And this is, I don't know if anybody knows about these. This is a real rose that's been treated or dipped in something. And uh, it is normally a lot clearer. And the rose inside is real. It's been dipped in something that will basically make it last a lifetime or at least a long, long time, like 10, 15, 20 years. Maybe it's longer, I'm not quite sure. But this is an Endura Rose in a dome. I love this. This was a gift from my love for Valentine's, was it Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was Valentine's Day last year. And I love it. And this actually comes in, let me, do I have it down here? Oh, here it is. When they, it comes in this gore, it came in this gorgeous heart box. 
that I actually smells like roses. I had this box filled with these roses as I was going to make sort of a, uh, well I did make, it's kind of messed up but you can kind of see like this kind of, you know those hat boxes with the roses? But uh, get rid of these. Oh my gosh. So when you when you receive it, you do get these, um, they are, they're real rose petals that have been treated. Oh my gosh, the packaging. Oh, it smells like gorgeous roses. And then this just sits. Like this, in there. All these roses, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I will chuck them in a box somewhere. You know what's crazy? Five or six, maybe seven years ago, I used to wear these in my hair. Can you imagine like a bun with just... I thought I was sickening the house. <laughs> Funny the things that we used to do, isn't it? Uh, next, I have, these are a selection of roses. These are gold roses. So this one is a, oh gosh. Do you know what, I go to show you, I haven't dusted these in a few weeks. So these are gold roses. These are real roses. So it's a real rose that has been dipped in 24 karat gold. These two especially. This one is just a cheap, cheaper, a cheap one. That um, is, I think it's plastic and then the leaves are 24, I don't know, whatever. I just felt like it was nice to add a bit of color between these two. And this is, these were gifts from this is from an ex-boyfriend and this is from, I believe my, didn't, I think my current boyfriend got me this. This sounds really bad, but these basically, I don't mean it like that. I just mean these are gifts and they're from very special people. So, um, and they're too beautiful to just throw away. And like I say, try and keep the original boxes. So yeah, it, in here is, so it looks it's really cute inside. In here it has, this is the certificate of authenticity to certify it's dipped in 24 karat gold. So you see it comes like this, which is really nice. The next thing that I want to show you is this Chanel snow globe. So, we shake it. So beautiful. This is from my mum for Christmas this uh, last year. So obviously Christmas hasn't happened yet. This is from my mum for Christmas last year. Stunning. And again, this comes with its own box to keep everything safe. The next thing that I want to show you are these cats. So they're like this. Whoops. Whoops, okay, this is really hard to show you. I'll show you them individually. This is the first one. And I don't know where these came from originally, but these were my Nana's sister, so my great aunt, I guess, that, that, that makes her. They were hers and uh, She left them to me after she passed away. I think they're actually from Japan. I don't know for sure, but I think that's where they're from. The next thing is this. How can I? I want, I want you to see how the pearl is a different color. It's a little crystal oyster. And this was from my late Nana, who has now passed away. She had a similar one like this as well, but she had a real pearl in here on her one. And I think, I think my sister has it or it's still in my grandfather's house. I'm not sure. Um, but when I was a kid, I used to love playing with hers. So she got me this one. 
and uh, yeah, that's the story behind this. It's beautiful. I think it's Swarovski. I'm not 100%, but it's gorgeous. And next we have two little Swarovski figures here. This is the unicorn. It does have a horn, but it came off. So you see the horn is here. I need to stick it back on. It fell off the shelf and lost. But how gorgeous is this? I have another one as well. This is the Pegasus. This one's my favourite. I love the Pegasus more than the unicorn. I don't know why. This is Swarovski as well. Dee, dee, dee. Dee, 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 dee. Hi. Um, I don't know. I just, I like Swarovski figures. I don't know why. I feel I could definitely see myself in the future when I have more income and things like this, how I would love to have a bigger collection. If I was going to give one piece of advice to anyone younger than me right, right now, it would be save up your money, don't get caught up in designer handbags and plastic surgery. <laughs> Buy yourself a house or get an apartment first and then start investing in those things. Because if you do it first, you end up getting stuck because you spent money that you can't... I mean, you can't necessarily retain full price back. Some items obviously are worth more than what you paid if the price increases. Uh, this is the original Swarovski packaging, so we're going to put her in here. But... My, that would be my biggest advice, would be to do that. And oh, these, these Sarasky crystals were both gifts from my um, boyfriend. Next thing, we're not, we've only got two, well, three things left now. Are you ready for this? <laughs> this is a Mrs. Potts teapot. How cute is this? And this is, this is a real teapot. Like, you can use this and put tea in it. Ooh, there's a sticker inside there. You might want to remove that first. What does this say? It just says like Disney merchandise and whatever. It's a Mrs. Potts for real, for real teapot. <laughs> and I also have the chip mug that goes with it. It's a little bit different to this. They're not bought from the same shop, but they are essentially they, they go together, so yeah, I only have one chip mug, I'd like to get more, eventually I'd like to get the whole tea set because I know they have a um, sugar and a milk jug as well that go with it. I love tea sets, I'm not even joking, I don't even know why, I, don't, I drink more coffee than I do tea, but I'll make a pot of coffee in this, I don't care. Uh, I love tea sets, I love like these kind of like novelty Mrs. Potts tea sets. I love vintage old like bone china tea sets. Anything that is pretty, I love it. And I like more antique things, I would say. Yeah, I just love it. I also have this as well. This is like a little stand that you can put things on, whether it be a plate or a flower or something. I've actually just looked over there and I can see there's more things. So technically, this is not the last thing. Next thing I have is this. Now I bought this this year. So this is quite recent. It is a sculpture of a Greco-Roman woman. And this is from, uh, well, actually I bought this from eBay and it is from Italy. It's made by a artist called A. Santini. You would have heard me talk about him before. He is the guy who made my bedside table lamps. Um, P.S. I've started. I started uh, restoring them. Remember the one was really gold. I, I stripped most of the gold off. Uh, I left it to soak, and I actually didn't press record because I'm an idiot. So it's stripped off, but it still needs to be refined. So maybe we can come back and show you. But yeah, so this is made by the same guy. I won this on eBay. I just love it. I think it's a really nice piece. Um, I'm into more classical pieces. Like I was saying, antique classical pieces is nicer for me. I just prefer it. And more artistic, like blown glass and things. 
Um, she definitely needs a clean as the alabaster is going slightly yellow, which is a sign that they need cleaning. So we will do, maybe we'll do like an alabaster cleaning video at some point as well, because I'll clean, when I clean the lamps, I'll also clean her. So yeah, this is her, love her. So the next thing is another snow globe. This is from Walt Disney World and this it says share a, share a dream come true and this was when they were celebrating 100 years of Disney. You can see it says it inside. I'm trying to see if it says what year this is. It doesn't say what year this was. I was really young when, when, when we went to the Disney World. I think I was, I don't even know how old I was, but it was me and my family. We all went. lovely and I, I just love it I only found this recently I think it was in the attic and uh, we only just and I found it and I was like where has this been and then the last item is this now my friend bought me this and she bought this, I think from Germany, actually. Um, she saw it there and she bought it back for me from Germany. It's the most beautiful, beautiful <sighs> lotus flower. And uh, I love it. It's, to me, it's a flower of friendship and it means so much that she got it for me. So, thank you, girl. Next thing is, this is a Yankee Candle holder. This was from my friend as well for my birthday. It's beautiful, honestly beautiful. I love it. And you put a candle and it just it lights up all of this and it gives really nice colours. Now I don't actually have the original box for this. Wrap that up and put it safe. And then also this, this is like a frosted glass neck bust thing for jewellery, which is quite nice. So there's this one as well. And then the last two things that need to be wrapped up are these pictures of this is me and my boyfriend and this is me and my dad. So we're going to wrap these up as well. Also have these. Now I have a pair of these. The other one is over there. Let me go and get it. Now these, these are, I guess you can say it's almost like crystal gemstones. It actually says on the back that it's agate stones in a mixture for coasters. And I bought these when we were, when we were in Luxembourg. So we bought these there for like the bedside tables. So yeah, I thought you might enjoy these as well. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, me going through all my little bits that I need to wrap up. And uh, thank you for joining me on this journey of moving. It's quite crazy. But until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.